Yo, what is going on everybody, it's Ace Turn and Ninja here today, my dudes, with a brand new video for you guys. So I'm trying something a little bit new, a little bit different. A lot of you guys know I do play Minecraft a lot if you guys are part of the Discord or whatever, right? You guys see me on here all the time. I stream it sometimes over on the Twitch channel. You should probably go and check, check that out if you, if you don't follow it already. Uh, it's linked in the description down below the video. Um... But, we are here today, I guess I could press F1, get that to go away, oh, I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning, <laughs> today, my dudes, you guys know I have not made content in a, quite a while, uh, and, and, and probably Minecraft content isn't something a lot of you wanted to see as the first video back, um, in what, four-ish months, maybe three, I don't know, something like that, um, uh, this probably isn't something, something all of you wanted to see coming back, but uh, I thought I'd try this something new. Uh, I've I've had a thought in the back of my brain to have a Minecraft style let's play, or well, not style, Minecraft let's play going on for a while now. I, I've wanted to do it. I played the game all the time. I love this game, um, and I just haven't done it because I even felt like you guys would be interested in uh, the in the, in, the, in the content. So I just thought, you know what? Well, let's give it a shot. So today. This is my, I'm going to be exploring and showing off my world that I've been working on for quite a while now. Um, this is one that I started a few months ago when I got my new computer, basically. Um, and I've been playing on it for a few months. I've got a lot of stuff set up, as you guys can see here. This is my, the entrance to my mine uh, that I have so far, which is pretty cool. But we're going to be showing it all off and we'll be going through the whole thing. So if you guys are interested in minecraft content in general or if you want to see more videos like this from me please let me know by going down below the video and hitting that like button and if you are new around here subscribe because that would be cool give that a shot um and i will be bringing back pokemon content as well we're gonna be finishing our shield let's play uh for those of you that don't follow me on twitter we had a vote that's coming back um and I would like to go ahead and try to get some content underway with some like Wi-Fi battling and stuff because I've been doing that a lot too. I've got a few teams set up. Uh, I'm gonna need some help getting some other Pokemon set up for that, but that'll be cool. So that's the content uh, that I have planned for the future so far. But yeah, without any further ado, I think we just go ahead and let's get into this. I went for kind of a, a, an abandoned kind of, maybe not even abandoned so much, but just like a, 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 a mine shaft kind of thing, you know, with the with the wood kind of holding up the ceiling. That was kind of what I was going for here. I got my furnaces here and some chests for uh, coal and such. Uh, it's just a little infinite water source that I've kind of set up over here that I was using before, but now it's just kind of left there. It doesn't look terrible. It kind of fits in fine enough. And it's just kind of there for, for if I need it. Here's my nether wart farm. Pretty basic one, very basic one. Uh, I don't really need it a whole lot, but I've been using it for some trading with some villagers. So it's just kind of here chilling uh we got an automatic minecart unloader so if you just i'll just pop that in there uh so it comes through the minecart through here and into this chest it's kind of cool pretty nice i appreciate it it does good work as you can see here i've decorated the wall because because i wanted to <laughs> I, th I think it looks nice uh I, I haven't finished it quite yet i need more oak wood so i can finish making uh, this design, which surprisingly enough, I don't have a lot of, but here's my uh, hub room for my for my mine, which hasn't really been decked out yet. I don't have all the stuff down here I need. I kind of just finished building it. I haven't been down here a lot since since I finished, uh, just because I haven't haven't needed to. But I, I really like the way the ceiling looks. I really, it looks so nice. I really, I like what I did with this. I'm not to my own horn, but I appreciate it. And the floor is kind of cool too. And these are just basic, really basic mine shafts. These two happen to connect to each other. But just digging three back and five out, three back and five out. Kind of just looking for diamonds, basically. I haven't started this one yet. And this one over here leads to a really large cave system down there. I can't really, s well, I guess you can see the wall. And that's pretty much it. And then I got the, of course, the mine cart that I can use to... To unload whatever I need, whatever extra material materials might be on my person that I just don't need to worry about bringing up here with me. It's pretty nice. And out here we have 
my town that I've been working on. I've got like a full-on village going on. I got some unfinished builds down here. These are both going to be uh, fishermen houses. I think I got four in that house and I think I'll be able to fit three or four in that house. That'll be pretty nice. We got a little waterfall here. So when I started this world, I had my main house, my house, my starter base up here, uh, which is why this is flattened out. And then after a while, I started just spending like 90% of my time down here with these different builds that I have going on. And I just didn't have anything up here anymore. Like I even moved my bed down there, moved my enchantment setup down there. Like I didn't have anything in this house anymore. So I took it down, flattened it out a little bit better and uh, turned it into the mine shaft. And I, I think that was a good idea. I really, I like having the mine up here. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, we got a automatic lamp here too, which is pretty cool. Anyway automatic lamp I have in town the rest of them are just these things because it fits the aesthetic of town better and here I got my enchantment set up after a little time hopefully I'll have some more library uh, some more bookshelves scattered around but these are where the librarians live as my master librarian I got gold ranked one I got another gold one somewhere I don't know where he's hiding apparently he forgot where his bed is and then this guy which I just got which has impaling three which isn't great none of these guys have great uh, trade just not as piercing four which is not terrible punch two eh. and he has he has just terrible ones he has knockback and curse of binding which just is not useful but he does give fairly cheap name tags so that's why i keep him around i appreciate him well for here in this little build which is just right across the street we have uh my sugarcane farm which does pretty well it's i mean this has been about a month worth of uh, of server time that i've been on here so it doesn't like produce the best and i didn't know about hopper mine carts as you can i don't know if you can tell but there's just regular hoppers down there so it does have a little bit of loss it's not completely lossless it's not 100 percent uh on its output but it does a pretty dang good job and i appreciate it anyway because i get a whole lot a whole lot of sugar gain from that man and here we got we'll go i will go actually in here later but here we got a little uh nether a little nether hub kind of miniature nether hub we got two barrels in the ceiling for storage we can put important tools or whatever away that we just let me put these back on i guess but um whatever tools and stuff i just don't want to bring in there with me that i don't want to risk losing put them in the barrels it's pretty nice this build was like the third thing i built in this whole town uh was pretty much it, it's it's like a it's not quite right i didn't build it quite right but it's pretty much just a uh a super smelter more or less just just pumping out stone glass whatever I need um, you put whatever materials I want to be smelting up in here uh, and then they just filter through the furnace and out into this chest it's it's not a perfect design I know there's, there's a lot of designs out there that just just work a lot better but like it it worked for what I needed at the time and I still use it occasionally but now that I got silk touch i just don't need to make stone so much anymore this one is this one has nothing in it it's it's an interesting build from the outside i'll show you in a second but it has nothing in it besides some smokers back here I, these are it's probably gonna end up being a villager hall at some point with a lot of cool with a lot of villagers and stuff in it but like i just i appreciate the build itself i like this big window i like this little uh, porch I have out here. I don't, I don't know. I just I appreciate it. I like it probably one of my favorite builds I've actually I've actually made here. Well, like my third or fourth favorite one. It's up there and as you guys I'm sure I've seen and it's not quite finished yet as you can tell I need to put a roof on it uh, Some other kind of design stuff. I need to work on but um this right here is My mob farm as you can see there danger mob spawner XP farm uh, which is a pretty basic design I just come in here with my uh, sweeping edge diamond sword and just bop everyone that falls down here. It, it's it's a completely basic mob farm. In fact, I think I watched the tutorial and then I messed up the tutorial. So then I had to like customize it a little bit, but I think it's pretty much the same as the way everybody else has their mob farms. Here's um, a villager in here that just hasn't been moved to a proper location yet. This is where I originally had most of my villagers, which is kind of in these cages. But these are the only two that are left. Mr. Drax, the cartographer, which I think I might have spelled that wrong. But <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's just chilling, and he's actually been maxed out already. He's uh, he's got uh, the woodland explorer map, which I haven't been able to purchase yet, and an ocean explorer map, which I do actually have, uh, and I just haven't checked it out yet. So if you guys want maybe some other videos, but aren't sure about a let's play yet, maybe we just do something like that. 
check out the mansion, check out the, the, uh, oh, uh, what are they calling? Oh, oh, there's some villagers down there. Why are there villagers down there? I don't know, for that in a minute. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, if you wanted to go and check out the, uh, this place, the very, uh, no, the uh, Ocean Explorer map, we could check that out in another video maybe if you guys are interested in something like that but you're not sure about a Let's Play quite yet, that's fine, I understand it. Uh, if we do do a Let's Play, <laughs> doo -doo. um, <laughs> if we, uh, if we did do a Let's Play, I, I will let you know this right now, I would start, of course, a brand new world and we would start from the beginning together. We would not pick up from this world. This might still be my solo kind of hop on, do some, do a little bit of nothing kind of world. Um, I don't know. I probably, I probably won't even use this world anymore, to be honest, if we start a new Let's Play world, but that would be fine because we could do it together and it would be awesome. But this is just my storage room. Pretty basic stuff. I haven't finished putting up all the uh, item frames yet, but uh, yeah, I mean, just, it would just, Spacious, well designed. I'm actually out of chests even. I had to steal some of these to help make some hoppers for something that we'll go over a little bit later. I had to had to steal some of those. And then we got holes in the walls here, which was not intentional. I just forgotten to actually come finish these. I wanted to put a a balcony out here, but I haven't gotten around to building it. And as I keep putting it off, I keep thinking I'm probably not gonna do it. Uh, I would like to try to. I hope maybe maybe one of you guys in the comments or even just uh, hop in the discord and let me know how to do this but uh, i know that you can copy worlds and change them to creative so that you can like test with designs and stuff i know people do that all the time but i don't know how to do that um so maybe you can kind of like teach me that'd be cool but i would like to do that before i commit to building uh, something out there because I just don't know if it's gonna fit. Yeah, otherwise otherwise these are all each one of these floors are completely finished There's just nothing on them yet and they go all the way up to the, act the actual spawner because I just I just haven't known what to put up here Apparently, they're not completely finished. I just haven't known what to put up here I have no idea and as you can see it's just a basic spawner uh, with the trapdoor trick and all that stuff Totally normal totally basic so now for arguably my favorite part of town, if we go out these doors, right there again. if we go out these doors, we got the kind of main hub area of town, which, which originally was kind of this building, this is where I spent most of my time, but I wanted to wrap it around and have, I mean, even though the building is still technically the center of town, I want to try to make it feel more like this pond is, and it's slowly and surely it is feeling more and more like this pond at the center of town. I spend a lot more time around this pond than I do anywhere else anymore. Um, we'll start over here. So that's the, right there's the librarian village, house, whatever. Uh, the library. That's the word I wanted. That's a library right there where the librarians live. Uh, this is just a basic tree farm super average i just needed a lot of uh acadia wood for these builds acacia what did i call it acadia acacia wood for these builds as you can tell and i didn't want to deforest the entire savanna biome so i had to make a little make a little makeshift uh tree farm which has been working out very well although for some reason maybe somebody can shine some light on this only the trees in the center seem to grow the ones that are on the outside don't seem to grow and i don't know why and it's really annoying. So right over here uh, is the start of like a little villager lane. Eventually it's gonna go on up the hill here and probably end somewhere about here and maybe wrap around towards those houses a little bit. We'll get a few more builds in here. But right now, the only people here are the farmers. And this guy's actually locked in. He hasn't have anything yet really. He's, he's still pretty new. And then in here is more farmers houses, uh, except for, I think, where did he go? I, I ended up with a with a dunce. I don't know where he went, wandered off to. There he is. He just refuses, refuses to get a job, and I named him Gimli. So now he's just he's Gimli, the the, the town dunce. But he's cool. He just hangs out, keeps people company. I appreciate him. Eventually, all of these villagers will have names. I just gotta trade for more name tags from the from the librarians over there. I just gotta I just gotta farm emeralds to get to get name tags. So that's the thing. So this is a pretty basic farm like in use you know it's 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 really it's just one of those ones you pull them up plant them down let them grow like it, it's totally a normal farm but uh i just i went for like a bit of a terraced design here and i really like it 
this bugs me the way that the way it's just raining right on the edge here um but i really like this terraced design so on the very top here we have the beetroot that's the potatoes we got carrots and on the bottom we got a big old wheat field the farmers tend to take care of the wheat field pretty well keep things growing uh i don't have any way to take the wheat from them so i guess they just get to keep it but that's fine because i got the rest of that to deal with he just kind of tends to farm this area i don't know why so here's this thing right if i take my carrots up i've been farming them a little bit but if i take my carrots up right and whatever i don't need pop it in this chest right it comes straight through through a hopper through the composter through the hopper right into this chest for bone meal which i really like and i, and I kind of i came up with this design i know it's I, I mean i didn't really but like i didn't watch a tutorial or anything i just kind of like put these together and i was like oh that works i like that let me use that um i know that i know that people have used this before like it's not like groundbreaking or anything but yeah, I was proud of myself. This is like the first like quote unquote automatic farm that I did by myself without a tutorial. I just kind of put these things together after I kind of understood how hoppers work. Uh, and I really, I, I've been really appreciating all this extra bone meal that's just been sitting around because as you can see, I decorate with grass pretty often. So it's been very nice. What are these, what are these guys doing? Apparently, they're just going for a swim. They're just chilling. I appreciate you. You guys are doing good work, keeping keeping the keeping the people entertained by just going for going for a dip. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is the most recent thing that I've been working on. It's a really nice just roundhouse. It's it's literally just a circular house, which I've never built one of these before. But I'm really I'm really liking the way it's coming out. I think I might have to put some more shelves up there, just kind of help balance this out. But uh. As you can tell, I'm going for like a, a bit of a design in here. Again, I'm gonna have chests all along the top for some extra storage or whatever. Uh, the, the loot, the, the the roof leaks, apparently, because I used half slabs. But if you come down here, down the spiral staircase, we got uh, some different rooms in here, and, and we're gonna have some other rooms off to the other sides eventually. I think through here may actually be nothing never mind haha <laughs> jk um i know that if i break right through here into this corner there's a chasm right there a big old hole in the ground so we gotta i gotta be careful of that so if we come over here this is another thing that i kind of designed on my own even though i think they're pretty common designs i just didn't i didn't watch a tutorial or anything i just kind of put it together um this one's a nice pumpkin farm it doesn't do too much because we only have two pumpkin stems in there. It doesn't produce like too many pumpkins, but it produces enough for me and for this guy who just wants to trade pumpkins. Well, I don't think he trades pumpkins. No, he trades melons. I have another farmer that I'm, I need to figure out how to get down here. I need to trade these out because I have a farmer upstairs that roaming around that wants to trade for pumpkins and melons. And that's all I have farming down here is pumpkins and melons. So having a farmer down here that wants pumpkins and melons would be a godsend to be honest i need to figure out how to get him out safely and get the other one in here without too much hassle i know a minecart typically would work but i'd have to construct something to get a minecart out of here because minecarts would not go up the staircase so i don't know i'd have to i'd have to, I'd have to figure it out play around with it but uh, i did the, i did a similar thing with the roof in here as i did to the uh the mining area except a little bit more pronounce with the wood i don't know i kind of like it it's it's different though i don't know it, it's, i don't know it gives me weird feelings here's something that i did completely design on my own 100 percent uh i know it i know it's done before let's see if, do, I, do i have any uh let me get this out of here okay so i gotta in order to make this work i have to break in here i have to come back here and fill these up real quick i'll just put a few in there A lot of you guys probably know what this is, but if I come over here and pull that, it creates flowers, which I can then use for dyes, right? So it's basically a dye farm, and I gotta get all these other flowers put in somewhere else also, but yeah, it's basically a dye farm, and I love it because I use 
and I would like to start using more dyes in a lot of things. Uh, I can make col uh, colored clay, colored glass, all that kind of stuff, right? And I would love to be able to start using that more because I would have loved to make this out of like white concrete or something, you know, something a little bit more modern. Uh, although I, it probably would not have fit well with this ceiling, but yeah, I would like to go for more modern builds, which I just can't do right now because I don't have access to white concrete. So if we come over here to this other room, we have the villager breeder, which is a, a really <laughs> not the best design, if I'm going to be totally honest, because sometimes they just don't leave. So the two villagers in here that don't have a job, that guy and that guy. Uh, they just they just decided not to leave, but basically you come over here, which I don't have a lot of bread left right now So I'm not gonna activate it, but uh You just activate this thing the bread drops in actually heck it heck it. They need to breed anyway It's about time, but um you drop the bread in villager picks it up He shares it with another villager they breed create a baby right and then as the babies run around You know how babies love to escape through the smallest little holes for no reason that is a one and a half block tall hole so the grown-ups can't leave right but the babies can and if they go through here let's see if I can get in there without messing things up so if they come in here which I can make it because I, I know how to crouch but they don't uh, they go in here to this bubble elevator and just shoot right out into town which is where they probably came from and then they just start wandering around and they live out here and it's great so it's basically a villager breeder that delivers them straight to the center of town and then just start wandering around. It's, it's my it's my design. I came up with that. I mean, I probably didn't. I'm probably not the first one that did it. But, like, I came up with that all on my own without any tutorials or anything. I, I, I'm proud of myself for that one. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. That's most of town. If not all of town. Oh, you know, we haven't checked this out yet. I don't think. This is pretty much just a basic barn. Well well built. Uh, we got an automatic chicken farm here. With these dudes in here just laying eggs. And they squirt out down here and just automatically get cooked and I love it it's very nice I appreciate it a lot we got a sheep farm a uh, basic basic sheep farm just need to feed them then and then bop them same thing with the cows which I haven't done in a while as you can tell because I haven't needed to uh, eventually I would like to uh, uh, semi automate this or at least get them split up into their own area so I can like breed different colored sheep for trading that would be nice uh, otherwise this is pretty much just kind of as it is and, I, and I'm, I'm actually proud of this build I really like the way it came out it looks kind of like a church which was not the intent but it kind of does oh well but I like it I like it so last but not least let's go ahead and go and check out the nether because I've actually done some stuff in the nether as well welcome to the nether which I actually didn't finish this yet. But, uh, as you, can, as you can see, I need to put a roof on. But, uh, this is pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Here's my map of town. We just went through all of that. And there's actually some stuff that needs to be updated. There's some builds over there now that aren't there yet. And I think that one uh, looks like it's pretty much completed. And there's some more to that that needs to be added on. But it's fine. Um, yeah, this is just my, my nether hub, basically. I haven't finished it, as you can tell. I need to finish putting the floor in and push put the roof in. But I ended up going for uh, quartz, which is just a heck of a block to collect. Uh, so that's been like a long time working on that. Uh, but if you come through these tunnels, basically, this is just a tunnel to uh, a snowy mountaintop. That cat just left. Uh, this snowy mountaintop, to be specific. Uh, and, I try, and I'm decorating slowly the room to make it kind of give you an idea of, of where the portal leads to. And I have another one right up on that ledge, right across from, right on that little rickety bridge that I built. Up there is where the uh, portal is for the sand, for the sand kingdom that I've been slowly draining of its, of its resources. Um, but right here, which is, it's literally right through... So it's literally right through here. Nope. If I can get up there. Yeah, yeah. Right there is our is our is our nether hub. And literally right through here, on the other side of this wall, is it is a, is a nether fortress. Like it's right here. 
which is fantastic. I don't have to go hunting for it. It's not that far away, and I can even tunnel to it if I really wanted to. I don't know if I, I don't know if I quite want to put in that effort. I don't know why I didn't just walk around this instead of trying to leap up to that hole. That's really nice having that right there. Like, oh, it's so nice. Oh, I, I, I was so happy when I came across that. And on top of that, come over here. There's another one, a separate one, right over here. It's, I got two, two whole nether fortresses. Right next to my base. Right, man, I'm right here in the nether. And so much gravel. Like, I, I can't even use all this gravel. Man, nah, my nether spawn, I, my nether spawn was solid, to be honest. This, this is where my first portal popped up. As, as you can tell, because this is where my portal leads to. I, I could not have been happier with my nether spawn, to be honest. I, I haven't even explored that way. Like, in any of either of those directions. I just know it's that way, and I know it's that way. But, like, my, my nether, my nether's coming together, dude. But yeah, that pretty much does it, I think. I haven't built anything uh, through either one of the, either of the portals that are worth checking out right now. In fact, I don't think I've built anything at all yet. But um, yeah, that was my that was my uh, that was my Minecraft world tour video. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that like for me down below, as it does help out a whole heck of a lot. Subscribe if you guys are indeed new around here and let me know if you guys want to see more Minecraft content in the future now something I talked about on Twitter that has not really been put into motion yet But I would like to make it happen As soon as possible uh, is like I don't know I don't know how many of you guys watch Minecraft videos probably if you're watching this you probably do watch Minecraft videos uh, but this this series done by a bunch of relatively popular Minecraft YouTubers, uh, you know, like, like, like Korean and like Mumbo Jumbo, you know, like those, those types of guys, just, just cash, you know, the casual Minecrafters that just sometimes make Minecraft videos, you know, um, they do this series called, uh, Hermitcraft, right? And I would like to make a Hermitcraft style server with a bunch of my friends. I think that would be a whole heck of a lot of fun and a really... Well, I keep zooming in by accident. Um, and a really fun way of kind of bringing the Minecraft into the into the channel, because like a solo series, as much as as much fun as it is, I understand a lot of people don't really look at that baby's feet. I understand a lot of people don't really like the solo series as much. Like it can be a little bit boring to some people uh, not to me i enjoy watching solo minecrafters just as much as anyone else and i think generally if you watch minecraft videos you're fine with solo minecrafters like you enjoy the content fine but there's just something about playing on a big community server that just sounds like a whole heck of a lot of fun to me so i want to try to make that happen i think that'd be really cool but yeah anyway uh without any further delays i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up hopefully we won't make it too long uh but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let me know, please, with a comment down below. And uh, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys all soon with some Pokemon content. Have a good one. Bye!